and then we'll pull this out for the power. Yeah, we just have to pump from the pole at the bottom, but pitcher pump just out of range. That's that's all it was. We were just out of range. Alright, gotta sweep that, drop off the pea water into this tile. This is looking pretty healthy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we get to here now. Okay, so once we build these two, I can mine this out, mine that out. I can do that from the bottom. We could build this out, and then we could seal this up a little bit easier. And then we are safe from the heat. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Alright, got some things to build here still. I'm looking for the other power wires, though. They get this roller. And then we'll have the H2 from here. Don't want to give the dupes too many other jobs. Everything's looking pretty clean. I do need to drop off water here. Auto bottle. No, let's not auto bottle this. Because uh, as much as I need water here, we need the hydrogen first. And I also want the smart battery before doing anything else. Do we have other dupes doing researching? We could give Xenosai because Xenosai is a quick learner, but we only have one researcher right now. One, two, three, four. So I can reach that. All right, we don't need to sweep that so that he doesn't have to waste his time. He could do supplying jobs so that the builders have an easy time. Water for here so that it doesn't freeze. And I'll turn that off for now as well. This is positive in temperature. So I'm hoping it maintains. There's a lot of ice that's negative though. Doing pretty good though. Can't complain. This is a low priority, which is fine. I want to get this done first. So let's put a 7 here and over here. The wheel to keep that healthy. And then the only thing is research is always going to be number 1. Priority 9 on that. Is that 3 hatches? It is. Cool, cool. We have an idle dupe. That's not cool. So none of that helps. All right, let's do some digging. We will need to do more digging. And let's also dig up the top layer of this side. If we can, I might as well dig up this. Don't want the dupes to be doing nothing. Research complete? No, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Close though, it's close. All right, so now we could do this. And the idea is going to be to do that from the diagonal. And then we could do this afterwards so that none of the gas comes in. Free oxygen, pretty sweet. Let's continue this down as well. We might as well get the platform here now. Smart batteries in the works. I don't have suits. I need to learn how to do that too. Okay. So for suits, if you want to get ahead, you need to make sure you're growing thimble reed, which is from the thimble reed seed, and you get something called reed fiber. Reed fiber. That's what you need for suits. If you don't have that, you could ranch Drekos. Regular Drekos with the white fur. If you shear them, you get reed fiber. So that's one thing you're going to want to have before you get into suits. Otherwise, you just can't craft them. And then, you know, get the required tech, suit forge, things like that. Supply operating tidy. This guy is pretty good, except that he's a murderer. I still think we take this guy. This guy's a cook, but he's a kitchen menace, so that's counterintuitive. I think I'm a... Yeah, man. This guy's the murderer, but he's he's looking pretty good. Feels bad. All right, let's set up its priorities. Citrus. Oh, I never set up citrus. Citrus was a supply operating decorator. You're not allowed to decorate yet. This guy's also a supply operating tidier. Let's have you not prioritize that. So we only have two priorities. I think I need to set up farms for animals next and, uh, for different materials. Yep. The ranching is really good for the different materials, to be honest. I think they will fit right in with the shine bug murder. Hey, man. Hey. I didn't murder nobody. Right? I'm just saying. It was one of the dupes. They woke up, 
in blind rage. I think it was uh, Susumu before Susumu got named. Susumu woke up. It's like, who turned on the lights? It was a shine bug. So he whipped out his proton cannon. This guy thought he was Iron Man or something. And just like that. Issue the order? Nah, man. I was asleep. Yep. The printing pod was offline, dude. No way that could have been me. Don't know what you're talking about, man. Can't be me, man. Printing pod was in tunes. Can't give orders. I smell cap. 100%, dude. 100%. <laughs> What's going on, X Templar? I see you over there. How you doing? Hope you're doing all right. Hope you're doing well. We're out of water for the research. Come on, man. Hurry up. We need some water. Getting the hypothermia. Oh, sweet. We got the tile in from here. We got this mined out. Pretty good. Let's continue a little bit for the uh, digouts for the lineup at the bottom. Clash! Showed it in the colony. Clash, who would you like to take? We have Ari and Ren. They both got the same haircut. So let me know, man. Those are the only two available dupes. Doing all right. How's the Oni session so far? Trying out the Baytor mod. Uh, exclamation point Baytor if you're not familiar with it. And it gives us insane world gen. Like we have uh, Azure Bug from the get-go. We got Diggable Lime. We have new resources I've never heard about. Like uh, Synthesis Gas. I have no idea what this is used for. We have uh, naturally occurring tiles that don't make sense. Like, uh, I think it was this biome. We have naturally occurring steel tiles, ceramic tiles, depleted uranium. You know, it's, it's really weird. And then we have corium that uh, naturally comes from a research reactor breaking. And this requires tier four digging. <laughs> hazmat digging for corium <laughs> and then we have other stuff here like we have helium gas and helium is what we put in balloons right has no use outside of being a atomically lightweight it becomes a liquid at 268 but we can't really go to that temperature <laughs> so it's it's pretty weird the biome compositions are really weird our printing pot, our teleporter right here is flooded with naphtha. We got that purple stuff, if you know what I'm saying. It's it's a crazy map gen, dude. Wait, how good is helium for thermal stuffs? It's actually garbage stats. It's in the same tier as sour gas. Not gonna lie. What is the bottom layer there? Oil? Yeah, the bottom the bottom layer is oil. We still got the oil right there. The same 100 kilograms. And then we have more oil down here, though. And then we have liquid phosphorus. But yeah, it's a, it's a crazy map. We got radium right here, which is not uranium. It's radium. We have naturally uh, more biomes. We got uh, way too much zombie spores over here. 680,000. It's kind of scary. I don't have any oil on my map. Yes, you would get oil on your second map that you teleport to, Mama Whiskey. If you don't want to go to the second planet to get oil, and you want to get plastic, the best thing for you to do is to do Glossy Drekos. This guy, he is a morph of the original Dreko. If you feed him mealwood, he becomes a Glossy baby, and then they give you plastic when you shear them. So that would be your alternative. That's actually really good. I actually go for glossy dracos more often than I go for oil for plastic. As much as this game, it copies a lot of chemistry numbers IRL, which I enjoy a lot about Oni. <laughs> it does, but there's, you know, they, they, they do different values based off of uh, some of the values. I see what you're saying, though. They, they take a lot of inspiration from real life, which is pretty cool. All right, so we have this here. That's going to be here. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's going to be made out of lead. Oh, I can't use that. Okay, I need a rock crusher. We need a temporary rock crusher, boys. It's time. Uh, we're going to use this line. It is what it is. Yeah, it tweaks them a lot for balance. Basically, only water, oxygen, CO2, and hydrogen are right. Yep, yep, yep. 
no refined metals to dig up there is they're just not close like i could go out here and grab steel but there's so much stuff in the way i don't want to dig through it clay crushed rock algae sand granite same thing here aluminum raw mud clay the only refined metal i was able to dig up was lead sadly dig the steel i see you oh yeah clash chose army thank you for uh, reminding me diachronic i'm very sorry very sorry mr clash thank you for being patient still though i apologize for missing that i read your message so i mentally was like okay we got the dupe but then i was still talking about helium <laughs> so I went on the helium rant, and then I, I forgot. I'm very sorry, Clash. Please forgive me. That's the problems with ADHD, man. You start doing something, and then you're like, Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do the other thing. And you completely forget about everything else that's happening in the world. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. That is the game, I know, right? You get overloaded so that you forget about everything. It caters to that. Almost none of the other liquids or solids are the same as IRL because it turns out 2D IRL values are OP. Both too much heat for the player to handle or too powerful for the player can't harness. Yeah. That's that's uh it's it's one of those things. It's adjusted. It's uh salted to taste, for lack of better words. It's salted to taste. What's going on, Peach? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Welcome on in. How are you doing, Peach? How was the Tuesdays? But the uh, balance numbers are still really good. They are. They are. And I think that's the best way to describe Oni. It takes inspiration from real life. But at the end of the day, you have to look at it as a video game. Because the values are tweaked to reflect that it is a video game. I think that's pretty fair to say. But I'm not sure, right? I, I never really looked at every single element. I just knew that water was accurate because of the water boiling points and stuff. And then I've had people in chat say that, oh yeah, dude, it's cool. This is just like uh, the periodic table. <gasps> oh, I don't have enough food growing. Oh, oof. Okay, let's move the wheel to the bottom. Uh, let's get a battery. So right here oh, I picked up Wolframite and then we're going to replace this with a farm tile doing good good to hear good to hear that you're doing good Pete something I saw recently that might be of use is replacing one of the ladders over the CO2 food pit in a tile so that there's a less chance of CO2 gas flow and mess with it. I actually did that in my last playthrough. Funny enough, you mentioned that. Right? Something like that. It keeps it pressurized a little bit easier too. Yeah, why not? We'll do it from the left so that it's closer to the dupes eating in the meal hall. Temperature phase changes are pretty close to IRL. Thermals are all over the place, which is why they use DTUs instead of BTUs. Oh, interesting. Is that why? Except that the way math works, one DTU equals a thousand joules. Wow, I didn't know that. I mean, the first law of thermodynamics is merely a suggestion in Oni. <laughs> oh man, dude. When, when you like jank out Oni with like the vacuum tiles to prevent heat transfer, man, it, it starts to get really jank. Not gonna lie. Maybe I saw it in your last playthrough. Oh, I see A squared. <laughs> I did that. And I was like, that's probably pretty good. We still don't have hydrogen working on that. Gonna get the uh, smart battery soon by crushing some copper. Hopefully we don't actually have to worry about that. That would be the ultimate debate. Nuclear waste. If the game didn't have a lot of metal ore... And it relied on you to, <laughs> and it relied on you to not waste your metal ore. Ah, uh, that would be the ultimate debate. Not even kidding. We'll get close to here. We also have free food. 
Let's finally seal this up so the heat's not something to worry about. Maybe we go down and save Mr. Pip. I heard he makes a nice little soda brand. Y'all ever drink Mr. Pip? The $1 version of the Dr. Pepper? That's pretty good, man. Not gonna lie. It doesn't have the 78 flavors. It only has 69, but it's pretty good stuff. Or the fact that thermal aqua tuners only require 1200 watts for what they do. That's true. That's true. Nice, nice, nice. Everyone in chat, nice. I like the Mr. Pib extra cherry. A zero dragon man knows what I'm talking about, dude. And I I didn't learn about Mr. Pib till I went to McDonald's as a child, and then I was like, Yo, Mr. Pib's Mr. Pib's the business. And then I would see Dr. Pepper on TV, and I was like, what the hell is this? And then uh, I got Dr. Pepper one day. I was like, dude, this is just Mr. Pib. I was so confused. Why did they call it by a different name? And that's when I learned about uh, branding and substitutes. I was so confused as a child. Like, dude, this is just Mr. Pib. They're just calling it by the wrong name, dude. What is this? Not realizing as a child what that actually meant. All right, so we're just gonna keep it at 75 overheat. And then conductive wiring is next. I have the lead for that, so I want to use that. Mr. Pibbs is pretty cool. Dr. Pepper, though, he's he's a bastard. Yeah, because he has doctor in front of his name. Even though he's just a dentist. Man. Dr. Pepper's just a dentist. That's how he gets you to go to his uh, practice facility. He gives you cavities by making the soda. And he calls it with his own name. Dude, does a freaking 200 IQ plays, man. He's not a doctor, he's a dentist. And he makes soda so that you go to his dentistry a little bit more often. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Sierra Miss is actually... Dude, Sierra Miss is top tier. I, I would say Sprite's really good. But I'm not gonna lie. Sierra Miss, man, it's not bad. I can't complain about Sierra Miss. It's pretty solid. Oh, it's gone? What? It's actually gone? I didn't know that. Wait, 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 wait. Is Sprite a Coke brand or is it a Pepsi brand? Does anyone know? Is Sprite a Coke brand or a Pepsi brand? Sprite is Coke. Oh, so Sierra Miss was the uh, Pepsi brand version, right? So they killed it off? What? Why? Why would they? Like, why? Mr. Pib was pretty legit, man. Mr. Pib was pretty legit. Why they gotta... Why they gotta do my, uh... What was I say? How are they gonna massacre my boy like that? How are they gonna massacre my boy like that, man? Real talk. They're making a new citrus drink in its place. Yo, man, let's be real. Anytime any of us buy orange soda... We're not gonna buy a we're not gonna buy a brand name. It's just gonna be generic orange soda. Either that or we buy cactus cooler. Cause we want that orange pineapple, which is pretty delicious. We either get an off brand or we get cactus cooler. Cause cactus cooler is also pretty bomb. It's it's pretty delicious, man. I'm not gonna lie. I bet Dr. Pepper was named back in the days when soda was marketed as medicine. That's true. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Fanta all the way. Fanta's is pretty good too. That's true. Did you guys, have you guys ever tried the, uh, the, I think they had a limited edition, uh, Coke Fanta mix in parts of Europe, which I don't think they have in America, which is really weird. But have you guys had that or seen that anywhere? The best orange soda is whatever is cheapest at the time. <laughs> the new drink is called Starry, I think. Oh, we still have that. Dude, is that good? I hear it's popular, man. But I, I'm kind of mad that I can't try it. You guys still have it? Do we have that in America? Any Americans in chat know what I'm talking about? Can we get some confirm or denies? 
Dr. Pepper's independent, but it's bottled by Coke and Pepsi. Interesting. I don't think we have that here. I don't know. I, I, I've heard of some European people talking about it. And they were talking about how it's really popular. And I was like, what? They're like, yeah, it's Coca-Cola. And one of the flavors of Fanta mixed together. And I was so confused. Is it called the Mezzo Mix? My sister tried it in Germany and she loved it. Yeah, I heard it's really good. And I feel sad because it feels like I'm missing out. It feels like I'm missing out, man. The Mezzo Mix Coke version. Gotcha, gotcha. Sunny D tastes like someone got dared to make orange juice without oranges. No, man. Do you know what Sunny D is? Do you remember back in the day when we had something called Tang? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's the orange orange drink mix. Tang. That's all Sunny D is, dude. Sunny D is someone got Tang, added water, and they bottled it. That's literally all it is. That's literally all Sunny Delight is, man. It tastes like orange drink, not orange juice. It tastes like someone added water to a powder. Everyone in chat knows about Tang. I see you guys over there. Yep, yep. You can still get it. Oh, it's not discontinued. I gotta get some Tang, dude. Tang was delicious. I would do some weird stuff to Tang. I would add it to like random drinks that it's not just water. I just wouldn't see the flavor mix. They don't taste the same. They don't taste the same. You're 100% right. That was just kind of the meme though. That's kind of the meme. But it does, Sunny D does taste like artificially made drink, right? It's, it's an artificially made drink and you could taste how artificial it is. All right, so we got to here. Let's get to that and this. Back in the day, you used to be able to pour a little everything from the fountain, but now there's a hundred thousand flavors in the fancy machines. They're all wild, dude. You know what's the worst thing about that machine? Is if you order fast food and someone ahead of you orders something random, like, oh, let me get the, uh, let me get the uh, Baja Blast Mountain Dew. And then I'd be like, hey, let me get a Sprite. The flavor mixes into my drink. <laughs> I've always hated that, man. I was like, oh, come on, dude. Do we have to do it like this? This don't taste like Sprite, man. Just saying. Oh, we're still waiting for the conductive wire. This is going to be 95, 35. And then we're going to have the pipeline come in like this. I've been drinking the Simply OJ and found out it's a ton of Forever Chemicals in it. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, Forever Chemicals feels bad. Quick question. Does this game have oxygen included? I don't know, man. You got to be the judge. Is this enough oxygen? Is it okay if there's food poisoning in the oxygen? <laughs> Hopefully that's fine. Baja Blast is life. I see you over there. Arze Kali, unfortunately, there is. Feels bad. How's it unfortunate? It should be fortunate. I am going to need to speak to your manager. Oh, wow. Hey, man. You can't, you can't be uh, putting me down for the good work we're doing. Ever, uh, the main reason that Taco Bell is still open. Baja Blast. <laughs> oh, there's a lawsuit against them because they market it as a healthy drink. Oh, crap. Yeah, I gotta look that up. Man. That sounds crazy. I heard that one of the things you could do to, to reduce the amount of forever, forever chemicals in your body is to donate blood. Because when you donate blood, your body produces new blood. And that's not going to have as much of the forever chemicals in it. So you dilute it. I don't know how true that is, but I've heard that's a thing. I don't know, man. It's, it's weird. I read about that. I was like, that doesn't seem like it's a good practice, though. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, you know what I'm saying? It feels weird, man. Forcing the sick dupes to work in the cold. Hey, man. Hey. So there's there's a strategy in my neck of the woods where when you get sick, the strategy is you got to work out because you could sweat out the sickness. So that's, that's the practice we're following, man. We're sweating out the sickness. 
So if my dupes have hypothermia, a quick jog is gonna fix it, man. Just say, the warm right up, full right at home. All they gotta do is wipe themselves down so they don't get hypothermia part two because uh, they're sweating so hard. But I'm just saying, man, if you do it right, it's a good time. Wouldn't it even be that bad? All right, so we could do this now pretty safely. Do that, and then we do this. And then we have to mine this top right here. There we go, there we go. Yeah, it, it still messes you up. It still messes you up. Uh, so how I found that out was um, that's apparently... I don't know if that's why a lot of women donate more blood than men. Because they look at the statistics. I think it's like 70% of all blood uh, donations are from women. And then it's like... Uh, I think a lot of women know about that. How some of the forever chemicals are removed when they donate blood. And it's also because I think, uh, you know, if you use makeup, there's a lot of the, you know, bad chemicals for you in that. So I don't know if that's to balance that out, but that's that's the article I was reading that actually talked about that. It's kind of weird. It's talking about how makeup there's forever chemicals and that one of the ways you get remove some of it was by donating blood. I was like, this is such a weird article. Any point of doing a light bug farm? No. That is 100% for flex. Dude. What do you mean the toys are out of order? What do you mean there's no food? Oh, we don't have any food, fam. That's right. I gotta replace this. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I mean, you could use it for a shine bug reactor, but at that point, it's, it's probably gonna lag. You create a artificial fever to shorten the illness. Also, that's a thing. Sweating it out. Okay, cool. More comes from... Uh, oh, I see you, Citrus. Interesting. That's true. Yeah, I'm st I like... Dude, man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm not a fan of needles. <laughs> like, like y'all ever seen the movie Saw, dude? There's a scene in Saw that I just can't stand, man. I don't even want to talk about it because I cringe just thinking about it. But yeah, man, I'm not good with needles. I look away, man, if I still get my shots. Like, when I got my vaccine shot, I couldn't look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh! Oh! Come on, man. He's peeing on the job. He's peeing on the job. There was one bathroom. It was out of order. Do we not have tight ears? Oh, no. He's he's just taking his time. Maybe it's time for proper bathrooms, dude. No, no, no. He peed separate. This was... You know what, man? I said he peed away from the water tank. Only for Citrus the Wizard to pee at the water tank. Can we hurry this up? Can someone mop this man? Citrus, can you can you mop this up yourself? Nope, it's in the water tank, boys. Ah shit. Uh guys, there's gonna be a little bit of flavor in the water. Don't worry, boys. That was uh courtesy of Citrus the Wizard. Y'all know who to thank. Nah nah, we have to, we have to. They just didn't uh do the jobs in time. Baja Blast, hey man. It looks like Mountain Dew. That's the only thing I can tell you, man. It might look like Mountain Dew. I just don't know how it tastes. So, uh, you mind uh, taking a sip of that for me, man? Letting me know what that is? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm a little bit scared to try it. Something about the Mountain Dew looks a little bit maybe expired. Let me know if you feel sick. <laughs> we need to know if it's safe for consumption. No, it's fresh, hey man. Oh, 
why does it taste a little bit funny, man? <laughs> if it's fresh, why does it taste funny, man? I need to know. I need to know. All right, so conductive wiring. We have all the lead in the world. All right, so let's get this done fast. Speed this up. Let's go. Let's go. It's from it's it's the imported real cane sugar. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. The real cane sugar stuff. All right, so we do have clay. That's what we need. That or he has diabetes. No, man, diabetes, man. Diabetes is real. Feels bad for the people with it. It's a bad time. All right, the what? Oh, dude, that was fast. Okay, let's get the hydrogen. So now we have the automation. So we have power now. So this is going to be able to power everything from here. And we're just going to use up all the hydrogen. And then we're just going to release the hydrogen out randomly like that. So this is just going to be us using up the hydrogen for a little bit of makeshift power. And then what we're going to do is build oxygen in this area by using the electrolyzer. I'll probably try to uh, store the hydrogen somewhere else later as well. Now, I probably need to get my spawn materials next. I could grab the suit stuff, but I don't think I need that. I need insulated tiles. Grab that next. Let's copy this. Get some more meal wood in. We're going to need it for the amount of dupes we have. Radiant pipes after that, probably. No, it's a cold area. I don't need it, so to speak. It might be nice to have, though. I am going to want to mine out a lot of uh, the ice, though, to make some space. Because I think I will want to put my spawn here. And then there's an opening right here that kind of sucks. Probably have to line that up from here to here. And then maybe here to here, we'll have another lineup. Try to go underneath this. Is that we could save the Draco. Oh yeah, we have a Weezwort, that's right. Nice, it's breathable, boys. That's what I want to see. Oxygen's back on the menu. All right, duplicates are not allowed to eat the uh, muck root and nutrient bars. We'll allow that right now. We're going to finish lining that up. Let's get another... Nah, not yet. Let's, let's uproot the bluff briar. Super set, almost. Get some bathrooms. This is maxed out. Stinky's still eating. Nice. So I want to grab the oil and the naphtha. But I think I I see that I have to spill it to the left. Yeah, I think that's going to be what I need to do. So let me put the ladder here. Do this. And then one, two, three, four. Might as well. And then I could mine this from the side. We're going to go through this way to this way. And then we're going to ladder up here. And then crack this. So all the naphtha spills over to this side. And then we could grab the oil. There's just so much naphtha. And then we could just pitcher pump the uh, naphtha afterwards. I think that's going to solidify the uh, phosphorus right here, though. 28 degrees, and this chills at 44. Not going to lie. The beta mod has some things that are a little bit random. But for the most part, I'm enjoying it. It's nothing too insane. There's a lot of, uh, if you do the check before the actual digging, it's actually not that bad. Making sure you don't chip yourself with the giant gas bubbles like this or the liquid bubbles like this. Seven tons of petroleum in one tile. That's totally safe. What's a model airplane? That is something you get when you complete the story trait. It's basically something you could put on the pedestal that symbolizes that you completed the specific story trait. 
So that one should be for the Somnium Synthesizer. You get a Ceramic Morb if you do the Critter Flux. And then if you do the other guy, I forget what you get. Oh yeah, you just put it on a pedestal. It becomes a decor item, basically. Dude, it's cold, man. Look at Zero Dragon. He's shivering. Alright, we've got to work this out, though. And then... Let's ladder up all the way. Oh, he get a toolbox. There we go, there we go. Alright, do we want to replace this with Abyssalite? I'm actually not sure. I'm gonna keep it there. Hopefully that's actually fine for the heat transfer. It's actually sleeting over here too, so you're shivering in real life. Oh man. <laughs> Yo man, life imitates art. <clears throat> life imitates art. You know how they say it, man. Speed this up. Let's mine out the ice over here as well. I could actually start spilling out the brine. Which wouldn't be that bad. It's so cold I accidentally left the front door open and now there's an icy patch. Oh, rip. That's a rip right there. No, we're, we're pumping water. We're pumping water. So this is coming from over here. I'm auto-bottling this. I guess I could up the priority a little bit. But no, we have water. All right, more research. So we're going to go for a spawn design. And I probably want the canister up here. So we're going to make space, build the spawn design. It's going to be a two electrolyzer spawn. Use this as a uh, water source. I think this is going to be the next thing we'll crack into. Uh, we'll mine this out. Oh, the egg hatched. Nice. So this guy is not going to be uh, aggressive. Good stuff, good stuff. Hydra spawn. Yes, the submerged spawn. Yes, yes. So the Hydra that people talk about is not the actual design that's here, or that I that I use a lot. I call that same setup a submerged spawn. But the proper Hydra, if you guys haven't seen, is a very specific design. It's just kind of crazy how that caught on as the proper name of uh, that design. Because it's like the guy who called it the Hydra wasn't the guy that discovered it, nor was it also the name that the, you know, design was named at. It was just for that specific design, because the, the man made a weird design. He made a 3x3, three three, 9 electrolyzers in a weird setup like this. And it would be... Uh, oxygen here and then he would have hydrogen here and then this is oxygen again and this is hydrogen again I, I have this wrong but he used water to make it so that the gas displacement was a very specific way in between and that was the hydra design that he called the hydra or they called the hydra but yes the submerged bomb I, I don't know if that's actually a hydra Hydrogen and posture check. Yo, man. Hydrogen got bullied to the top. It's doing all right, though. All right, so we're just going to spill out the salt water. I think it's going to be fine. And then we're going to mine out a lot of the area. Mine this out as well. Let's speed this up. So we're going to make an infinite spill storage for this. I think we should eventually expand out some of the living space so these insulated tiles might move to the left. So I think that means we should do it like this. So I need that and then this needs to be airflow. Let's make that out of copper because I'm probably going to want the aluminum. Let's put a ladder here just so that we could do the thing. Actually that could be a door, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I 
think you trapped the dupe. Oh, Citrus. Let's go, buddy. You could do it, man. He got hypothermia. Feels bad. Oh, he was next to the aggro pokey shells and didn't get hit. What a stud. Didn't take damage. Let's go. Alright, so they could jump on this now in order to reach the tiles. I made an infinite spill storage. Drained the water planet. It was super fast too. Yeah, it does. It works. Uh, super fast. It still takes like an hour. <laughs> but then you have a couple million of kilograms of water. So I think it's a fair trade. <laughs> Oh, did I do this wrong? Because I need this here. Yeah, this is on the wrong tile. So this is off. There we go. Infinite spill. Yes, infinite spill is the design we're going to be utilizing right now. So if you're not sure what that design is, it's the design I actually almost always use. <laughs> It's, it's a very good design. Alright, we gotta mine this out to create space anyways. Twelve hundred? Oh, that's just the normal values. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nutrient bars, I'll take that. Alright, Pokey Shell over here. They're kind of angry. We should probably wrangle these guys, bring them home. Oh, but then I would have to move out the eggs. Ah, that would be on this side. Oh. Do I have Megatronics? This is pretty good. Yeah, this is weird. Ugh. Don't you want to research the guys before closing in? I don't even have anyone with the research skill. <laughs> to be honest, I don't have someone with the skill. I could deconstruct and come through this way, though. Because the water is going to spill to the left, but there's nothing I have to worry about for gas pressure. So for the most part, it's really not that bad. I could probably do this as insulated, actually, to keep the heat in. Now that I think about this. Those didn't need to be airflow, because that was never going to pressurize. And then we just walk through this way from the top, deconstruct the mesh tile, and then deconstruct the airflow. It should always go to the left anyways. Yeah, we don't need to close it off at all. I do need an insulated tile here, though. That's what I do need. All right, uh, I want to make a design for this. Let's sweep that. The coal could chill there. Yeah, I want to move the eggs out if possible. Research none, so I need shoot plus loader. Right here. All right, and then someone needs to grab mechatronics. Ah, oh, crap. Citrus the wizard. Is this you? No, it's not you, right? It's Susumu that's supposed to have it. Okay, so we won't have it for a while. I will want to grab the prerequisites, and it's going to be the next skill point. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Megatronics pretty early. And then we'll move out these guys, so let's mine this out so we have space. Oh, we're at max pressure. Oh my god. What? How? Wh where did all this hydrogen come from? Oh, did I mine one of these hydrogen bombs? <laughs> did I did I release a hydrogen bomb? I like, why is this? Dude, 8 kilograms? I released a hydrogen bomb, right? I have to. There is no other way that's possible. Yeah, it's 11 and 8 kilograms right here. Dude, what in the world? I have, I have way too much H2. Okay. Uh, 
Smells like power. I mean, it is, but I need to do something with it for now, though. Okay, I think I have to move it in here temporarily. All right, so let's remove this. It's no longer going to be needed. Let's remove this as well. Let's start doing the setup for the liquid lock. And then let's start vacuuming this. We'll still try to set this up best we can. But yeah, we're going to need to build a pump over here now. This is all hydrogen. We're going to need a ladder here in order to reach. And then I'll probably want the automation in. Mamba's awake. The little babies. I see you babies. Alright, so now we need this. That would be our infinite storage. I could still jump here to jump to here, right? Or do I just keep this open for now so we could make the jump? Should be fine. And then this requires this. Tile here. Bottle emptier. Yes, babies, I hear you. I hear you. My kitty cat needs my attention. I'm sorry, babies. We're streaming right now, though. Right, so this is cold crap. All right, let's crack this. And then hopefully we'll get into the oil so that I don't have to worry about my water freezing anymore. So we'll do the setup like this so that the oil stays there. Oh, wait a sec. I could just mine this right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a pitcher pump right here I could just do. Let's go. Yeah, remember someone redeemed the feed? We're going to feed the babies. We're going to have to feed the babies. We'll feed them uh, near the end of the stream, though. Not right now. I'll feed them later. Mama, go back to napping. What are you doing, babies? Is that liquid phosphorus? You got it. Liquid phosphorus. Oh, this is a neutronium. Okay, so we're at the edge of the map. It's not bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh, Pakus, let's go. Oh, they're cramped. No, not like this. <laughs> There's so many fish and they're all cramped. Mambas, I see you, babies. I see you over there. All right, get that sweet, sweet oil so that we can add the oil to the liquid lock. And then we gotta do this up a little bit faster. It, this side is actually breathable, that's a funny thing. Oh, that 1,000 grams of oil is actually all I need. That's the perfect amount. All right, we'll probably just have to crush all this oxygen. And then this is the 1,000. Built a tile there. This is priority nine, nothing's happening. Oh, they're supplying the computer for the research. That shouldn't be that important though. And then we're holding water here, which is good. All we need is a different gas element and we'll be fine. I think the moment we get uh, oxygen here, like we pump out the hydrogen, we should be in a great shape. All right, so we put that here, priority nine. We gotta build a tile here, funnily enough, because the polluted oxygen, actually that's gonna lose to the oil eventually. The polluted oxygen is gonna choose to move up and then the oil is just gonna spill out. That typically happens that way. This guy clapping for no reason. Dude, zero dragon is a stud. <laughs> He's a stud, man. Holy heck. He's building this out pretty fast.
All right, we're not building out the. Uh, this not move feels bad. All right, there we go. We do this, and now we do this setup. This side is more important. Nice. He clapped because the research complete. Oh, I see you guys. I see you guys. All right, so we do that. We have a vacuum. And then this is a nice vacuum box now. Good stuff. Now we could do this. And then we need a little bit of oil here. And then we just do that. Good stuff, good stuff. Do you need to insulate that room for the cold hydrogen? Um, No, it's going to be temporary. The moment I actually build a proper submerged bomb setup, I shouldn't have to worry about it. But uh, right now, because I have so much hydrogen, I can't even build out here because it's not breathable. So this is temporary storage. So my seed has polluted oxygen vent. What should I do as a noob? Uh, polluted oxygen vent. B. Josh, do you know what temperature that is? There are two versions of the polluted oxygen vent. One of them is 500 degrees and one of them is 60 degrees. Either way, I don't recommend using it. <laughs> Oh my god, I went to uh, help my dad with a computer question and missed the build. We didn't even build it yet, don't worry. Because the thing with the polluted oxygen is that... Yeah, it's it's oxygen, but it's, it's not the best option. If you have no other way of breathing, it's fine. But if you have other options, you're better off looking at the other options. What's the room to the right with the oil? This is going to be where we're going to store the hydrogen right here because uh, I opened up a gas bubble and it filled up my entire area with hydrogen I mined one of the gas bombs that had a lot of hydrogen in it I didn't know how much it was I just looked at it and it was just H2 so I need to remove this and we're just going to make an infinite pressure tank so that we could store all of it it's literally 7 kilograms per tile and there's like 50 tiles here I map hacked my map on a different save and it's the only one that's on the map with oxygen. Oh, wow. Uh, so if you do want to do that, you can't do anything at cycle 40 as a new player, which is my main reasoning why you shouldn't use it. A lot of the things you're going to need to know or do, you're not going to know how to make or do. You're probably not going to have the tech level. You're probably not going to know how to handle a specific building in the early game. Because it's like, if it's at 60 degrees, most of your plants are going to die. So if you use that as an oxygen source, you're going to lose food as a result. So you're better off uh, trying to find a water source and building an electrolyzer. Or if you just mess it around, just do whatever you think it's best. At that point, it's not going to matter. But if you're a new player, you're going to be lacking a lot of necessary information. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of sand for the deodorizers, hundred percent. Cool slush, yes, we have one too. Except mine's salt water. So we're gonna convert this into oxygen, or at least try to, if we have time today. But uh, I need to uh, do some other steps first, like uh, relocating my uh, hydrogen. I need to also do this auto bottle, so that we grab a little bit of oil. Yep, you will need either a heating pool or uh, run the electrolyzer first so that you could cool the hot oxygen with the cold water and then feed that in afterwards. There's, there's a lot of different methods you could use though. You're on the first world, not a lot of special. All you have to do is gather water into one spot, set up plumb toilets since they generate water. Don't worry about food poisoning. Use meal lice. Water is important. Get an infinite water source. Swap to electrolyze. Gives you free power and O2. Yep, to a certain degree. That's true. If you overuse the hydrogen, though, it's going to be bad news. All right, point two. 2.2. Two. 2.2 point two. Two two kilograms. Is that a lot? That's one, two. Okay, that's good. There we go. 
Yeah, pre the oxygen also doesn't have a lot of uh, generated gas. That's true too. It's not great. It's not great. So I would recommend not using that and building an electrolyzer setup. If you're curious though, I would recommend looking up the spawn. Oh, it's not connected to the power. But yeah, it sounds like you probably just gotta play. There's no amount of questions you could probably ask to prepare you for that. So what I recommend to do is just do your best. Um, Mamba, no! Oh, he's trying to unplug my PC? No, man. What are you doing? This guy, Mamba, dude, he went behind my PC to where my power supply box is, and he tried to rub his face against the power wire. And what are you doing? What's going on, Weeks? I see you over there. Checking out the new mod. It's pretty crazy stuff. So far, so good, though. Can't complain. But uh, doing all right. Hope you're doing all right as well, man. Play the game, find problems, view guides. Yeah. What is a mamba? Mamba's my kitty cat. If you want to see the mamba, bottom right-hand corner, that's going to be him. He's moving around on the ground right now. He's trying to get my attention. Let me see if I get him in the shot. That's him, me giving him head rubs. Let's see if we get his face on the camera. There he is. He loves to lick my hands and lick me for whatever reason. He's like a dog. He's like a little dog. He greets you by giving you uh, kisses. But that's Mamba. He's my kitty cat, the all black Scottish folk. What mod is this? Exclamation point Baytor, B-A-A-T-O-R. It is a uh, custom map that has everything cranked up to max. Animals like the salt in our skin. That makes a lot of sense too. They need the salt to survive. All right, so we're pumping in the H2 to reduce the amount of uh, mass per tile so that we could produce more oxygen. And then that way we could actually start building with the space. Now that we're here, I'm going to want to capture these guys. Pokey shells get dropped off, and then they need to make sure to remove the eggs. So I need to make the setup now. So it's going to be a shoot. Critter sensor over here. All automation is going to be tied to this one. We hopefully don't get both at the same time. And then I need to make sure I can't swap the tile. So I could just auto sweep it from the ground I'm gonna use lead thug life this does go to that I'll just put this here and then get the rails in simple setup and then we'll get mechatronics there we go Susumu the legend he is adorable. He's the best kitty cat, man. He is. It's not even close. Mom was amazing. Should you be using more of the power from the hydrogen gen? Probably a mop up extra H2 really quick. Uh, the thing is, is that the hydrogen gen is pulling the hydrogen from here. <laughs> that's that's the weird thing. I already have hydrogen in the in the base from one of the gas bombs, but I contained it. So I don't know. I, I kind of want to use this up first. Have you checked the new game from Steam World Build? Never heard of it. Don't know what you're talking about, Muyx, so I, I have to say no. I have to say no. It's kind of interesting. I mean, if it's early access, I'm probably not going to look at it at all. That's the thing. There's just, there's just so much early access stuff now that I don't think it's worthwhile to check out. Because half of the early access stuff still just never gets developed for another five years i've been following space haven and it's been two years and it's still an early access with no indefinite future but it, it has has a little bit of promise i just you know i just would like the game to be fully released Spent a solid six years of playing it and it never actually developed. See, when they went live and gave up, 
That sounds like RimWorld. But RimWorld got lucky with a uh, good fan base. Because the guy who made RimWorld said, Hey man, I'm just going to make this one version and I'm done. No, no updates, no DLCs. And then BAM! We got DLCs and updates because he needed money. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Sometimes all you got to do is get lucky and everything you did was wrong and it doesn't matter. Sometimes you do everything right and you don't get your, you know, just do. You don't get your flowers. And uh, it sucks, you know. Feels bad though, as that is life. Satisfactory is early access and I think it's what makes the community so strong despite the signs. Uh, I don't know, man. A lot of the times, any game that's an early access, the early access tag is not a benefit, in my opinion. Because there's just so many games that had, like, so much potential, so much promise. And with a good launch via early access launch, they had a lot of people buying the game and you know oh yeah we're gonna spend the money on increasing our team size of developers things like that not that they didn't promise like deliver what they promised on but it just took forever we're gonna have x y and z and it's like year later you know the first checkbox is the only thing checked All right, so it's just critter, no eggs. Talk about why today it works because they embrace the community and actively include the community. See, that's a thing though. It's kind of like when you do your early access, right? Everything you just said, Citrus the Wizard, is 100% just media. It's having a media presence. Not a lot of games do that, man. Not, not a lot of games actually keep you that in tune. A lot of the times they keep the things to themselves. Because having someone do your PR like that is actually a job too. But of course, there's there's a good chance Satisfactory is the exception to the rule. Alright, the hydrogen's almost done, so we probably need to start pumping this into here before having that uh, loop back. So I probably need to do this. Once the hydrogen is uh, done, so that we pump into here. And then we'll put a bridge on the side, so that the hydrogen gen gets priority. And then all the other hydrogen goes into the infinite box. Because we're going to run out soon. Yeah, I, I was like, that's, that's great and all. But they only need to do that because they already see that early access has a stigma. Right? <laughs> they wouldn't have to do that if early access was cool. So they also understand the situation. At some point, it's launched and receiving updates. EA is a marketing tool at this point. It is 100%. Because if they didn't want to do early access, they could just release a demo like they used to do back in the day. But that's not common practice anymore. It's a lot of times a early launch before the full release launch. And each launch is supposed to like get people to play the game. That That's really all it is, right? All right, so this is done. I don't need to do setup. We're going to start vacuuming the hydrogen. All right, so we're doing pretty good. I'm going to keep this there because it's zero. And we're going to mine this out. Now, probably want to get rid of this as well. Get rid of that. And then the hydrogen is going to be... I probably need to trim this, start wrangling these guys. If we can. It's a marketing scheme, 100%. The thing about early access that I hate the most is that you could have a great concept that everyone wants to see. And then you get them to buy the game. And then you just don't develop it anymore. <laughs> and, and then it's like, what happens then? 
You know, everyone's played their two hours, can't return to Steam. And that risk is always there. There's nothing you could do or say. That risk is always there. Ashes of... No, man. Dude, we, we, we cough. Star Citizen cough. That's, that's actually more so in the category than Ashes of Creation. <laughs> we, we go Star Citizen first, man. Star Citizen is a grand travesty of all the video games. Okay. Uh, next research. It's probably the gas reservoir right here. Because I want the radiant pipe. And then we'll grab the aqua tuner. Okay. So the H2 we have to wait. We're wrangling pokey shells, which is cool. Moving back into here. Once we're ready, mining this out. There's some uh, drowning water weeds. And then we'll wrangle these guys. I think I should go for bathrooms. There's not a lot I have to worry about over here. So I think we should probably grab some bathrooms right now. I just need to find a good spot to have the uh, water sieve. I actually don't have a good spot to put the water sieve. <laughs> of all things I don't have. I don't have a water sieve spot. No, 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 no. I, I agree with everything Citrus says, but Citrus, you got to understand that they're not... Like, although what they're doing is great, they're, it's not actually common practice what they're doing. That That's the only point we're trying to say. Like, what they're doing is awesome. No one's saying that it's not. It's just that a lot of the times, like, you know, that's not the thing. It's like how we have studios like Clay that give us free updates for the game. And, you know, we don't have to pay for DLCs after the spaced out. And we have companies that are selling loot boxes, making the same video game and putting 2023 on it instead, instead of 2022. There's, there's a lot of predatory practices out there. Just because, you know, a company does it right doesn't mean everyone else is, right? That's all it is. It's just that more often than not, it's, it's not that great. And you, you could also argue that, you know, those people ruined it for everyone else. That's 100% the case. And Madden is owned by EA. Is that right? Madden's owned by EA? SAAS, what does that stand for? I'm actually not familiar with that. I might be, I just don't know the abbreviation. I hear you, mom. I know, I know. We're, we're streaming, baby. Hold on. Alright, so we gotta mine this out. Software as a service. Oh, I hate that, man. I hate that. I don't like that idea. Like, I remember when they were converting all video games to having... Oh, you can't play single player. You need to have internet access to even play single player. That's one of the things, man, I was not a fan of. Right? Like, oh, I just want to play... I just want to play some single player, man. Nope. <laughs> not gonna happen, buddy. Feels bad, dude. You could run an ad break and we'll love... And uh, No, Mama's back on the bed. He's fine. He's fine. The moment Mama's back on the bed, he's fine. He's okay. He's okay. Mamba dose. I'm gonna give him some love in a little bit when we wrap up stream, though. Don't worry, you guys. Okay, so we're mining this out. We're gonna build a spawn. Let's start setting it up. So I want to line it up to this. So we are going to run some insulated tiles, right? This makes a lot of sense. Uh, there's a good chance we keep this as a ladder way. I like that idea, but I probably move the ladder over. So I probably want to centralize it in a, some way. So if we have this here and I want to hold the thermal energy inside, I'll need this, which means one, two, three, this is the ladder. This is the lip. 
And then we do the liquid lock here. I think that's the play. Yes, we are going to be building the spawn setup the best we can. So, you know, liquid lock to the top entrance, liquid lock to the bottom entrance. That's going to be, of course, the things we're going to want to get that started. We're going to have to relocate the ladder, so I'm just going to rebuild that now. Let's go, let's go. Can you call something early access if it wasn't even on Steam? Because I would argue Project Zomboid might hold that title. <laughs> I, I I might want to argue Project Zomboid might hold the title of being in uh, early access for the longest time. Whereas Dwarf Fortress was such an old game, you would buy a CD, maybe even a floppy disk for it. And that it was only recently that it got put onto Steam. It's true, but when we go early access, that's something that's specific to Steam, though. That's that's my argument. Right? The only reason why we talk about early access is because of Steam. Otherwise, wouldn't we call it something else? They also have an early access category. They call it the same thing. Ah, uh, what? I guess it is what it is. But I mean, still, though. Can you call something early access like that when it wasn't calling itself early access? Because it's like, you know what I'm saying? We could argue a game that just got discontinued, but it's still early access. And it just got lost in, you know, history. Ah, we, we need the water to spill out until we get oxygen here. Minecraft was what created the EA model. Seven Days to Die has been on EA consoles, PC for years, probably 10 now. Isn't Project Zomboid earlier than that? Still early access, weren't they since 2010? I might be wrong. Yeah, they still haven't finished the game. Dude, I hate Seven Days to Die, man. It lags. <laughs> man, Seven Days to Die, man. They, they lag, dude. Oni was only early access for, what, two years? Not that bad. Before they went full release. Oh, yeah, when I first loaded the game, dude, it took me, like, ten minutes to load. I was lagging so bad on default settings. It wasn't until someone helped me out with that in chat with uh, setting up the settings that I was able to get it to uh, run somewhat smooth. Alright, so we're still removing hydrogen because of what we have to do. All about them releasing content? That's because they have to. That's, that's kind of the promise, right? Play the game, but as we get money, we'll give you more updates. That's that's kind of the model, right? Ice? I don't even need it. So it's not so much that they're doing it because they're nice. They're doing it because they have to. Oh, this guy broke out. So this is good. The the mechanism to retrap them. Same with Don't Starve. New characters, DLCs, makes it worth playing. Yep. That, that's the thing, though. It's like... When, when you release an update and it's a company, they look at it as, oh yeah, we need to charge them for it. And that's the difference between a company that acts as a business and a company that's a studio.
Same with Don't Starve. Oh, wait, no. Is that this mod? So what is this mod? Thor Bane, exclamation point, Bator. We get a custom world gen. That's crazy. So the easiest way to show you craziness is look at this. I have my teleporter room flooded with naphtha. Uh, I have liquid phosphorus right here. I have diggable steel tiles. I have diggable ceramic tiles. I have new elements that don't make sense. Uh, synthesis gas. What the hell is that? I have helium. What the hell is helium? So that's the mod. It basically takes some of the hidden elements in the game that's in the game, just not on any of the maps, and uh, gives you crazy world gen. So a lot of my world gen looks really weird. Slime with polluted dirt, with mud, with radium, with morbs inside. This one is a uh, clay, zombie spores, sand, sedimentary rock. This one is fertilizer, dirt, pips, cool steam vents. This is just hot, so it's boiling. Feels bad, man. Why is my oxidizer tank broke in Discord? I have to reprioritize it every launch. Wait a second, let me check that out. Invalid. Oxalite cannot deliver. That's weird. Uh, so you can't supply it? Have you tried turning it off and on again? I'm not even memeing. That actually might fix it. I'm, I'm being serious. If you turn it on and off again, it might actually fix it. Alright, who's, who's stressed? It's Ren. What's the problem with Ren? Popped eardrums. Okay, we just gotta pop or uh, pump up the hydrogen. Create space with tiles. We gotta mine out as much as we can. So, so. The reason why I asked you to turn it on and off again is because that could be a memory leak issue. So if you've been playing the game and you left it on for a while, more than four hours, there's a chance that's just a weird bug that's occurring. Let's actually not do these so that we can allow the hydrogen to slip out. All right, so let's put this here so we can mine this out. Yes. If you don't turn it off, and you've been playing for more than four hours, weird bugs like that happen in the game. And it's kind of common. It's kind of common. Hopefully that should fix it. So it's here. Cool, cool. And then we need to mine this out. Leave that so we could reach. Alright, they're not stuck. That's just where they're breathing in the oxygen. And then the moment we pump out the hydrogen, we're going to generate some more. Dude, we have so much H2 already, man. It's acting as a uh, coolant for us. Okay, so let's get the tile here. Actually, not yet. Let's sweep this set. Move some of the items out. Okay, we got that set up. So technically, this needs to go down like this. And then it's going to prioritize the hydrogen first. And then it overflows into the storage. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, the reeds are a pain because they're a very specific temperature. They require that. They need you to have the coldest temperature possible. Okay, Ren is just having a bad time. Ren is just having a bad time. What do you do, Ren, when you get mad? You start vomiting. Okay, that's fine. 
Hey, I guess that's that's okay. Feels bad that they're a vomitor, though. You need to build a pump in the infinite store? Yeah, we will. We will. We're just storing it for now, though, because we have way too much hydrogen still. We'll do that eventually. Oh, my man's stuck. God damn it, CC man. Oh, my God. No! Okay, jump down this way. Susumu's at 91%. Okay, they are not in a good environment. Everyone's having a stress reaction soon. There we go. Okay. Is this not a great hall? This is a great hall. Latrine barracks. Is that still not enough? I guess the popped eardrums is bombing them. Pretty bad. Best way to heat up an area without overdoing it? Space heater? Yep. That's very gradual and it's slow. That way you get to the temperature and then shut it off. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. Because I am not sure if my dupes are going to be okay. Alright, so, you know what that means? Oh, wait. Maximum downtime. Hopefully that helps. Sopping wet popped eardrums. So they just, it's because they're getting wet all the time. Alright, once we stop mining the bottom, I think we'll be fine. And then there's no water here, right? Just right here. And then that's ice. Okay, that's not good. So let's make a storage bin down here for the ice. Actually, let's make it somewhere where we don't have to worry about that. Now let's do this. Let's do that. And then we have our double liquid lock set up. That's going to spill out. Should be fine. 99%. He's done. He's going he's gonna to vomit, boys. He's going to vomit. Ooh, there it is. What's your calories at? Are you going to die? He's at 2,000. He's going to be fine. He'll probably lose 500 calories from his vomiting spree. This is no longer going to be needed. We could bop this. This is going to be only for the crusher. We could also remove the pipeline now as a result. Nice polluted water we're in, boys. Get a new gas, off-gassing. Kappa. Guessing with food poisoning? No, it's actually clean. When you're vomiting, there's no food poisoning there. Because it doesn't come out of your butt. That's the logic, man. Food poisoning comes from your butt. It'd be like that sometimes. Alright, back down to 96. Looks like Ren is okay. But uh, Rambo, though, is having a bad time. Feels bad. You should be okay, though. Alright, so we're waiting for the hydrogen... Uh, is coming out this way. We're pumping that out. We're trying, man, but the hydrogen is taking forever to do its thing. Maybe I should have a second pump. 100 kilograms later, right? Per tile? Oh, man. Rambo, dude. Please. Don't stress out. He's already positive on the stress generation. Dude, he's so good on the morale. It's literally the popped eardrums that's that's getting him. That's that's literally it. Just the popped eardrums. One, two, three, four. I can mine everything in the water afterwards. Oh, I can do this now. What am I doing? All right, so the water is stabilized. I need to get another gas bubble, and we'll be good. This needs to be sweep-only liquefiables. There we go. And then I don't have to worry about water spilling into here anymore. And then we got to build this out, mine this out, and we'll build our spawn design. Uh, this is solid, so that actually means this, that, this. 
And then we have two tile gap. Perfect. And then we got to do it like that. And then this lines up to this. Yeah, that works. All right, so we won't line this up or do that yet. This is okay. We got to mine this out. Come on, Hydrogen. You got this, buddy. Oh, that's CO2 right there. All right, so we could mine this out if we want to. Don't have to, though. Rambo did his thing. I don't actually know what Rambo's stress reaction was. This guy was... Oh, he's binge eating. Oh, crap. Did he binge eat just right now? Did I lose a lot of calories? Did I lose a lot of calories? He might have ate 10,000 kcals of muckroot. There's a good chance, man. All right, we're going to forbid that again. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. That's actually really good. I gotta make sure that doesn't move. And that's gonna be our uh, infinite spill design. So you want these tiles right here, these four plus this one to be uh, water tiles of whatever you're storing. You could only store one water at a time. But uh, we gotta get this working, man. Dude, this hydrogen though. We went from 7 kgs. We're almost there. Should build a pump. Now we come through this way. This is too low of an oxygen tile for a dupe to actually breathe. Because it's less than 100 grams. So that's the benefit of having thin gas in that area. We can't breathe it out. Probably take the briar seed. And we got research. Okay. Grab the aqua tuner. But we're going to come through this way in order to do the... Uh... Dude, he just jumped in. Don't lock him in. Don't lock him in. You know what, man? Let's build a pump. My dupes are feeling like they're studs right now. Which means I don't need this. <laughs> Yo, man, this is priority one. Let's build the pump. Don't lock anyone in it. Oh, the pitcher pump's out of water. Good eye. Thank you, Time Me Up. Appreciate that. Did not even consider that. Dupes always be stupid. No, man. They're going to be smart today. They're going to be smart today. Look at Susu move the legend. Hey, now we just need a power line. Uh, hmm, this is probably going to be conductive. And what makes the most sense is going up this way. We could always do that again later, though, to be honest. Can you explain what you just built again? So right here, this is infinite liquid storage. So you could see on the liquid, we're going to... Oh, yeah, we don't actually have yet, but it's going to eventually get to... Uh, high pressure value this allows you to store a liquid indefinitely regardless of the actual mass per tile so this is infinite liquid storage and that's this design right here so all you have to do is build this in the same pattern that i did on your liquid geyser uh normally if you have a hot water that's 95 degrees you have to build this out of gold or something better steel niobium thermium but you got to make sure it doesn't overheat Outside of that, this allows you to store liquid onto these five tiles for any amount of uh, pressure value. So it's great because it's compact and you don't have to build a lot of, uh, 
you know, a large water tank like this in order to keep your water. Just keep it all in the five tiles. So that's the infinite storage right here. Uh, the thing that allows this to work is this. We need a two gas setup operating or uh, occupying these two tiles. And you pump it out when you need it. Exactly. That requires me to have a, a pipeline. I just forgot. Feels bad. <laughs> Feels bad. I forgot about the pipeline. Let me build that in before we seal it up. But yeah, that's it. That's it. And Susumu. Nope. 98%. It's going down. It's going down. All right, this got mined out, so it's time to mine this out. Dude, someone's going to jump, dude, and get stuck. I have this sick feeling that's going to happen. Dude, what is this? This does not look like salt water. Y'all see this? Why does this look like oil? Oh, because there's no mass. Zero kilograms. Dude, what the hell is this? Zero kilogram, negative 272? Salt water? That's illegal, dude. You actually shouldn't be able to get to that value. I mean, there's also no mass, so it's probably just a vacuum. What's going on, G-Money? Hope you're doing well. You see my Lakers, man? You see my Lakers? We got a wing, baby. It's time. I finally had a trade go on and my Lakers got it. What's going on? We're playing a new mod today called the Baitor. And it's an interesting mod because it's a mod that, uh, for lack of better words, what it does is uh, have some pretty insane world generation. And for the most part, it's pretty crazy. So it's a different change of pace from what I'm used to. Since I'm used to all the biomes already, I kind of know what to expect. But with this, it kind of feels like playing the game as an experienced player for the first time again. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Is Russ going to the Spurs? Dude, we literally just traded for the 2020 Washington Wizards. What are you even talking about? Thomas Bryant was on the Wizards. Troy Brown Jr. Now Rui Hachimura. We literally have four out of five players from the, the Wizards. Like, we could literally run, hey man, you want to play against the Wizards today? Or you want to play against the Lakers? LeBron, AD, Austin Reeves, uh, Dennis Schroeder, Pat Bev. Or you play against Russ, uh, Thomas Bryant, Troy Brown Jr., Rui Hachimura, and then you probably add in, uh, you know, Lonnie Walker in as a shooter. <laughs> it's literally two teams, man. It's kind of crazy. So it doesn't make sense to trade Russ because... He has the chemistry with the players already. He's lobbed to them before. Assistant plays with them, knows their play styles, what they like, where they like it. So I don't I don't see that happening, man. Of course, who knows, right? Oh, I did this wrong. Feels bad. This should have been right here. Yeah, I did this wrong. I didn't even realize it. So it's one, two, three, four. We need the ladders there. This needs to go there, and that's a deconstruct. Messed up, messed up. There are the talks about the Spurs, though. I think I think what's most likely to happen now is Lonnie Walker gets traded. I know a lot of the Laker fans are not going to like it, but I think that's most realistically what's going to happen. I think they would rather keep Patrick Beverly now that he's hitting some threes. I don't know. That's, that's what I'm thinking right now, but who knows? Who really knows? I mean, they've said that all year, though. You know what I'm saying? They've said that all year. What changes today? You know? And then it's it hasn't happened yet. You see how Pat... Ba dude, that was great. That was a great clip, dude. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. I hate Patrick Beverly. But now that he plays for my Lakers, man, it's it's kind of good. <laughs> it's it's kind of nice, man. Having him on the Lake Show. <laughs> I never thought I would say it, man, but it's true. I never thought I would say it, man. But it really do feel like that sometimes. 
Is that li infinite liquid storage built in the Discord? Uh, I have a YouTube video on it, if that's uh, what you're looking for. So this is on YouTube, so you could you could look it up. But if it is on the Discord, I don't know where it is. It was posted probably two, three years ago. So you would have to scroll up in chat history, which is probably not going to be a fun time. <laughs> Right? Because you're going to be like, oh man, I have to look what up, I have to look this up, I have to look that up. Alright, that should be a solid tile. And then I need to mine this out. And then once we do these two, we could mine out everything else. Still pumping up the hydrogen. Oh yeah, we're finally getting some oxygen coming out. Is that from the electrolyzer? Oh, we did? 7% uptime. Okay. We're getting there soon, boys. I might actually want to build a filter for this. I probably should. Just in case. Uh, let's go with a shut-off filter. So it's probably going to have to be like this. And then we will have a thermal sensor right here. Thermal sensor, element sensor. And then automation. And then we got to do the gas pipe like that. Gas pipe like that. Redo this one. This requires power. Just so that I don't actually have to worry about this. Grab an oxygen randomly. Alright, and that should be the priority for the build. Good, good. Oh, we're out of water. Ha, ah, that's right. Let's up that to a seven. Get some water into here. All right, cool. Let's leave, let's leave. Wait, I'm harvesting a plant. Oh, there was a water weed on there. All right, just get out, boys. Just get out. Nice, nice. Mind this all. Do it from the bottom. Oh, I can't have to mine that first. Nice. They didn't get stuck. Alright, so we're going to trim this out. Do the build. So that's going to be the build we need to do. And it's going to be two airflows on that side. Two solids. And then... If we just do this setup, a double, it's going to be only that big. So that should be fine. All right, so that's going out like this. This needs to be hydrogen. And then, oh, I don't have plastic. All right, this is going to be a little bit of a weird design. I didn't, I didn't consider this. We have to have an overflow set. I didn't even think about that. So let's run this in. And have it kind of like this. Any filtered out oxygen we actually do. And this is going to be hydrogen. Make this a 7. There we go. Good stuff. Draco farm. I can't do that yet. That's going to be after we do this. We'll do a Draco farm after we build the spawn. I prioritize oxygen more than plastic. I do need it though, I do need it. But because we have cold water, I could skip the step. Luckily for us. There's a chance that this is gonna be the Oh, I don't have gold! Oh no! Lead. Iron. Wolframite. Is there no gold on the map? Depleted uranium? Lead? Dude, there's no gold! Oh, dude. That's rude. I have to make steel? Is that what they're telling me? There's no gold on the map? This is... Oh, no, right here. Okay, cool. 
we gotta go to the bottom of the map pyrite oh that's that's one of the uh rare elements that uh fool's gold yep this does not increase overheat capacity <laughs> okay fool's gold we have some fool's gold is there steel yeah we can grab the steel from right here it's only 32 kilograms though it's not enough yeah, that's dust cap. I mean, uh, spore kids, man. It's not a good time, so I don't want to go down here. This gold is not grabbable. Dude, we don't have gold for the spawn. I just realized that. I could still build it, though. That's the upside. Shouldn't be that bad. So, smart battery, one, two. That's going to be the size of everything. And then we're going to have our oxygen pumps up top. This is exactly four pumps. This is two hydrogen generators and a smart battery. And then the pump's going to be here. This is going to be our spawn design. Uh, don't have a refinery unlocked. I have a rock crusher. I could use tungsten. This doesn't provide overheat, does it? Oh, it does. Uh, that's only for the smart battery, though. It doesn't do anything for uh, the hydrogen generators. This is still going to overheat, because I want to put the generators inside. I could use the copper, though, for the smart battery. That's true. That's not going to be a problem. And, of course, the electrolyzers. <laughs> the electrolyzers need to be able to overheat as well. Oh, man. Dude, we really didn't have gold. I didn't even realize that. And this is only spot? Oh, that's so bad. We could run a temporary setup. Realistically. That could allow us to make this work. Water's on the left. Hmm. So we gotta build the pipes for that. I could just chill everything so that it's not a problem. Because we do have cold water right here. That's the thing with that. Let's just build this first, though, before we think about the other things. Still have a lot of algae. CO2 needs a power line. And then let's do automation. Just to here. And that's going to be a element sensor. There we go. Use radiant pipes for water input. I'm thinking about running the cold water on top of both the oxygen and the hydrogen. That way, it tempers the saltwater brine into a sievable temperature. I think that's what I need to do. Carbon skimmer for now? Eh, it's the same thing. I'd rather save this for my rockets, though. Because I do think I'm going to need carbon rockets to get data banks. So, like, you know, might as well save that. Oh, no, dude. It's a mixed tank. All right, let's do it like this. Uh... All right, so I got to deconstruct the gas vents. I got to empty this out. And the only way this works is if the first bubble isn't hydrogen. This is hydrogen, that's good. Uh, how do I want to release this? Okay, so I think we do this. Yeah, it's 500. I could do that. Let's cut this pipe just in case. Uh, I gotta leave the... I, that's, this has gotta be fast then. Okay, so this is immediate. And then we just overflow everything to here. 
Oh, there's no spot for salts. Is that not selectable here? Yeah, salt, lime, refined phosphorus. Come on, Susumu. Let me get the gas vent. And let's turn this off. All right, so the idea here is we just overflow everything. And since it's not connected, it should go backwards. Ooh, okay, so that means this is a problem. Does it not go backwards? Oh, oof, it doesn't. So I need to have the extra pipeline right here. All right, so we need that. Oh, that sucks. At least that is hydrogen in the pump, though. All right, hopefully someone could do this real quick. Xenosai. Help us out, buddy. Where you at? There he is. Oh, you delivered it, but you didn't build it. Ren. All right, so let's empty out the gas lines like this. All right, so we do this. Oh, it's not connected. That's why. There we go. So everything should flow out. Just release it back. And then this is oxygen. So I should still be able to do this, right? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, We're going to remove the gas pipe and not the bridge. Removing the bridge would be the same thing. This is hydrogen. That's good. And then we release everything there. Man. Okay, so we did this so I could crush the oxygen now by building a tile on top of it. Do you have a plumber? Uh, I think I do. Exactly one plumber. But it's fine. Uh, I think it's going to be faster. We just build and then uh, deconstruct it. There we go. And then we just go like this. Everything else is good. Deconstruct this as well. Cut this line, cut that line, cut that line. This should not be connected, so just in case. Oh, autosave lag, don't cut up the map. I've had that happen to me before. Okay, we do it like that. Theoretically, that's a deconstruct. We still have power, that's good. Let's upgrade this to a max priority. This should connect again. There's hydrogen here, so we're waiting for this to flow out. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is how it should look. This, that, this. This goes to the left. We'll trim out some of the extra segments soon. Disabled by automation grid. So it's going to come in and go to the left. There we go. Perfect. I did that the other day along with digging the entire map. Yeah, it's a tough time, man. Once you do that. The worst thing is if you have like a pipeline spaghetti... And you have that happen, dude? Horrible. <laughs> Rip the pipeline spaghetti, man. Real talk. Hi. Is this the start of a series on YouTube already? Looks like I missed an interesting first 30 cycles. Uh, um, it's not on YouTube yet. It will be. Uh, for the most part, all of my Oni streams are going to be on uh, YouTube. So you don't have to worry about that, Stefan. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the new series. Baytor Mod is going to be the mod. XMH point Baytor in chat. The mod is supposed to simulate the 10 layers of hell, or the 10 biomes of hell, when they bring it into the Oni category. So we have a lot of extreme biomes we're going to have to play around with. And of course, there's a lot of new elements that are in the game, just never used. Things like helium, things like uh, pyrite, things like synthetic gas. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, we don't know how to use some of the things, but also have a pretty cool interaction with the naphtha here already. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting playthrough. Hopefully it's going to be a good time though. But, uh, yeah, the new, the new map, the new mod, it's kind of crazy because of, uh, how it works out. Carbon dioxide. Let's get a little bit of juice, just like that. 
All right, meal. What's good? Now it's research. Hope you're doing all right, though, Stefan. How are you? How was the days today? How was your Tuesdays? If it's still Tuesday over there, man. We're building a spawn right now. Infinite storage is complete. The makeshift setup here. And let's filter out all the gas. So the upside with this is that as we remove the amount of gas here. Oh, I don't have water. That's what we're missing. Auto bottle the water. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. The sieve should be here for the bathrooms. This this actually makes way too much sense. So let's do that. So doesn't really matter how this works. Uh, yeah, let's we'll put it here. I think that's fine. We are going to need another reservoir, just in case. And then we'll start setting up the plumbing here. So, this is a... Left side is clean water. Okay. So we got to do the pattern, right? Clean water, dirty water. So we're just going to prepare the pipes for bathrooms. And then we need these pipes to get to the sieve. So clean water makes sense. I just go like that. Right? And then dirty water comes out to here. That's kind of weird. Uh, might as well. So we could do something like this. Have that come in from here. Have that come in from the top. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is how the meal would potentially might get warmed up. So I am going to change this up slightly. We're going to have this go to the bottom and have this go like this. And then this goes like that. So the dirty water comes in. We hold the extra dirty water just in case it backs up. And then we're going to prioritize this design. It's going to be jank. Uh, I want to hide the bridge so that it goes to the right and then we overflow to the left, which is also going to be a bridge. This is such a weird setup. So if we ever have too many people using the bathroom at once, I won't get that log jam because I can't sieve it fast enough or I don't deliver the sand on time. That's really all we're preparing for in case we get the hiccups like that. Get that on the power line should be safe. Pumping out the CO2 from here. Oh, someone is stressed out and oh, look at Susumu. Oh, they were ugly crying. Dude, the cute stinky. The rare stinky looking cute, dude. We missed it, boys. Feels bad. Now we're good. We good. It works out. It works out. The only thing I need to tie into now is this plus that. And then the upside here is that I could easily use this. Oh, yeah, actually. We could grab the water and fee uh, feed it into this to get water coming and started. Nice. So we could use the water pump. Just need to make sure we have enough water at the bottom. Uh, you know what we could do? Build some ice temp shift plates down here to increase the amount of water we have. Just an idea. Don't know if we really want to do that, though. All right, look at this. We have a spawn, boys. A makeshift spawn. Oxygen, hydrogen. We filter it out. We do all the things... How far can a lakes go with these trades? Uh, there's really only like three teams, unless Chicago and Toronto decides to blow it up. AD's coming back in. He could come back today if he's not already playing. If not, he could be back before February. He's ahead of schedule, and he, he can play today versus the Clippers. But, you know, that's ahead of schedule. Chances are they're going to make him like, oh yeah, just wait, dude. Chances are. They don't want him to come back a little bit too heavy. So there's a good chance if, if Rui starts, that could be the same day uh, AD comes back if he's not already playing today. Outside of that, though, yo, man, we're looking at Detroit and the Spurs and Chicago. 
Chicago is depends on if they decide to blow things up. If not, uh, Toronto is the only other team that potentially won't try to shaft us. And at the same time, you know, give us a good trade. Has players that we want. Right now, though, all we need is shooters. So I think the only players I would trade Russ for right now, like straight up, is probably Zach Levine and Alex Caruso for Russ. That's the only trade I'll do with Chicago. Although Vucevic is potentially a center, I don't think he fits. And I'm worried about that, right? It would have to be like a three-team trade where we trade Vucevic for Miles Turner. But like a lot of the problems with those talks is that I think what makes the most sense is if the Lakers don't trade for someone for a win now, they're going to want to trade for someone they could either sign or keep on as an asset. And as a result, they need to be able to A, free up cap space, or B, um, get bird rights. And that trade we did, we got the bird rights, so it actually helps us out a lot. So it, it's got to be someone that's still on the contract next year. Or otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. That's that's really what it comes down to. Because I don't want to let some some of the players we have walk, right? Dennis is on a one year. Um, I, is Dennis on a one year? I think I might be wrong. Uh, then we have Thomas Bryant, who played kind of like a monster. And then we had you know, uh, dude. There's just so many players we have on like one year deals that if we want to keep them, we gotta have the cap space. Seeds. That's a great question. I have zero. It's discovered though. So we probably have it. But I don't have pathfinding to grab Sleetweed. So it's probably somewhere. I just can't reach it. Chances are. How young are the new players? Rui is 24. He's the only new player. Uh, Thomas Bryant, Dennis Schroeder, they're all pretty young too. I'm trying to grow mine. Can't seem to grow it. Ah, are you doing it wild or are you doing it on a uh, tile, like a farm tile or hydroponic? Which one are you doing it on? Wild, domesticated. It actually makes a big difference. You're doing the hydro farm. Yes, yeah, so if you uproot it, you get your seed back. Seeds are only lost if a fish eats it the fish will have a diet of eating all the seeds outside of that you always get your seeds back hi dude sleet wheat is the slowest food in the game you dug up your sleet wheat in the wild yep that works oh wait this is this is seal too now what happened to the hydrogen you know what i'm not even mad as long as it works You don't have any seeds? Hey, man. If you harvest one, you get 16 seeds. So hopefully you get one of them to grow. If you dig up a wild plant, uh, you only get one. But if you harvest it, you get 16. So if you find a uh, plant that's already, you know, grown. That could be uh, how you do that. All right, the oxygen here is now included, boys. We did it. We're looking pretty fresh. So we could do the jobs here now. Hopefully the dupes start doing the work, but we're doing the uh, bathroom struggles. They'd rather be in here, right? Due to the fact that it's close by. Sleetweed seed and plant are the same. Yes, they are. The seed and the plant is the same. So you're always better off harvesting the seed. But you do get one back. Nice. Nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Dubes are doing the bathroom thing. All right, man. Plumbed bathrooms are going to be pog. No, you're going to be fine. Ooh, this is hot, though. What's going on? Oxygen still comes back pretty cold. Can't complain. I'd probably build an ice temp shift plate here. Cool this temporarily. Toilets are out of order again. We only have one tidier. I can't wait to get proper bathrooms. Q 
can't wait to get the proper bathrooms. Come on. Everyone's sleeping, everyone's doing good. What? Aw, oh, someone woke up just to pee their pants, dude. Rip. Please, no more. Please, no more. No more messes, man. We're trying to get proper bathroom, boys. Now we good. It's not spilling. It's not spilling. I think we're fine. Joyous seeds. Can't say no. Alright, realistically, do I really not have any gold nearby? Lead. This is copper wires. Copper tile. Lead. Iron. Copper. Lead. Lead. Gold in this biome. Otherwise, it's lead. Copper. Dude, man. Oh, right here? Oh, this is the hot area. Oh, and this has zombie spores, too. Man, everywhere there's gold, there's zombie spores. Man, that's not a good time. <laughs> that's not a good time, dude. I think that's the generation. I think they want the gold with the zombie spores to lure you in. I think that's the idea. Look at that, it's the gold. We need to grab that only for you to release the zombie spores into your map. That would be the line of thought, I would imagine. Alright, so we're good with the water pumping. I don't want to take too much. We already have a lot of oxygen. Greed, sin, that's basically what it is. We're going to be doing the printing pot objectives. So not only are the starter planet randomized, I think the other planets are kind of insane too. This is our sister planet. I don't understand this, but you know. Water's getting deleted. <laughs> that feels bad, man. Otherwise, though, it's kind of normal. It's a uh, metallic swamp. The only thing that's kind of crazy is the number of geysers we have. We're playing on the small uh, DLC map size, but dude, we get so many geysers. I think that's going to be like kind of the theme. Every planet is just going to have way too many geysers, and it's going to be a problem by having too many. I don't know, though. That's what I'm assuming. That's what the Wheeze Ward is for. I see you over there. But yeah, we're going to be doing the Pretty Pot objectives. Hopefully, it's not going to be that bad of a time. Gonna want to get the full experience, of course, for the mod. Let's get the Rad Tech next. Fertilizing the dirt. It's doing all right. Get the pipelines in. Uh, hmm. I could, yeah, I could just deliver it off here. Have that pump through to the right. Alright, let's do that and then cut the pipe and get the bridge ready. So that we can go to the bathrooms as soon as we got it. Alright, so construction. Let's make this a priority. So hopefully it's done by the next cycle. We're going to pressurize, man. With oxygen. It's going to be pretty pog. A little bit of H2 there. The dupes don't want to go all the way out to here, though. Feels bad. And then this is okay because this is cold. This helps us maintain temperature. Unpermitted food. Are we out of muckroot again? Oh, 40,000 kcals of my kcals are coming from the unperishables. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five times eight. That's 40. Wait. Five times eight. That feeds eight dupes. So I actually should be okay. I'm actually a little bit confused on why I'm not actually having enough. Oh, we didn't mop that up. They're getting sopping wet every time they wake up. Feels bad. But can we get these pipelines built, man? Do we not have Igneous nearby or something? 
Like, no one's doing the pipeline jobs. We don't have a lot of suppliers. Ah, I see. And we only have one builder. What a struggle. Alright, Zero Dragon, you're gonna help supply. I need to make one of those. I need to make one of those, G-Money. It's in the works. I had a previous video that I worked on, but I scrapped it, even though it was done. <laughs> So I, I, I'm going to start from scratch again, but I had I had one that was going through the pace of the game, what you should be doing in the beginning, when to be tackling certain designs, the options you should be looking into, but not going into detail like, oh yeah, in the beginning you have oxygen diffuser, rusty oxidizer, terrarium, like no, beginning you need to make oxygen, anything you could do, it's fine with the resources that you have. And then once you get to this point, you want X, Y, and Z. Once you get to this, you're technically in the mid game. So you don't have to worry about that anymore and things like that. I had a video like that, but I scrapped it because I was not happy with the results. But yeah, I got to work on that. I got to work on that. All right, the waste pipe is connected, but not the clean water pipe. Oh yeah, and this is open now. It's a vacuum. So I could actually just deconstruct this and start mopping up the water. Wait a second. Oh, why is that such a high priority? I guess it's fine. We need to get another builder. That's going to be the next one we're going to get. We need someone to be able to help out Susumu. I'll just drain it to the tank on the bottom. That's probably pretty smart. Let me open this up first. Dude, they didn't finish this? Come on, man. My dupes are, are, are slacking off some. Slackers. Oh, the hatch got dropped in. Let's go. We got the research. Let's go for the data bank one next. My dupes are lazy. All right, theoretically, this was going to be another bedroom. I probably should have put it here, though. Move the rock crusher. Oh, look at that. He's working before he goes to sleep. What a stud. Good evening, too legit. Hope you're well. It's been a while. Hope you're good now. Yo, man, what's going on, Avatar? Hope you've been well. Did you miss a couple streams? But yeah. Uh, the last stream I had was on Friday. <laughs> Hope you're doing alright, Avatar. Hope you're having a good one. Sometimes uh, Twitch also doesn't publish my VODs. That might be another reason why it might feel like it's been a long time. At least the stress has gone down. Yeah, that is one thing. That is one thing. Alright, let's go for the backside setup. And then I'm going to use the front sink. And then since that's done, I technically need this to be built. So we get water in the pipelines. And then that should help us out. I also needed to disconnect that pipeline. Everything's priority nine. Everything's priority nine. You know what they say, boys. If everything is priority 9, nothing is. So we get that right there. Let's get the sink right there. Oh, that's aluminum. We don't want that. Aluminum is, is more valuable than copper. How long you've been working on this? Just today. Just today. So we started at cycle 1 today. And that's today's stream. So it's not too insane. Aluminum is better than gold. No, that was copper. Aluminum is better than copper. Because gold is better than copper. I'm well. It's just uh, when I can't make it to stream, I would rather watch later after work. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. You can't watch to, uh, after work. You know, it'd be like that, man. All good, man. Good to see you again, though. And uh, dude, Avatar, if you didn't know... 
Uh, I know you like to catch it live, but if you do miss anything, it's going to be on the YouTubes. Aluminum is better than gold for pipes? Yes. Aluminum is godlike. Aluminum is literally the best radiant pipe material under 600 degrees. There's nothing that's better than this outside of thermium. <laughs> because the conductivity of this is 205. The only thing that comes close to this is the end game resource, Thermium. Which is made by getting Neobium and then solidifying that. Wait, no, you get Neobium? Yeah, yeah. And then you use Neobium plus Tungsten to make Thermium. And Thermium has 220. It's barely better. But it has an overheat temperature of 900, and it doesn't melt until 26 to 76. But after aluminum, the next best metal for radiant pipes is cobalt. Cobalt is higher melting point, 1494, but it's 100 conductivity. After cobalt, I think it's uh, steel. Steel has a conductivity of 54. And then gold, iron, and copper are all the same. That's the thing about that. That's kind of stupid. Copper is at 60. Gold is also at 60. And iron is also at 60. So if you didn't know, they normal... Oh no, iron's 55. So iron is a little bit worse. So gold and copper are the same when it comes to conductivity. So gold is not that great. The only thing gold is better for is in the ore form, because a lot of the buildings that are built out of gold ore still get the overheat, while you don't get that with copper. So that's why gold is better than copper. It's in the base form. Oh, we're running out of gas. Okay. Uh... Okay. So let's put this here. Let's get a pump. Because we're going to need it now. Let's put it on the left side. How do I want to do this? I kind of see how. It's going to be like this. And then we need power. That's technically how that should work. We should be able to reach everything there. That should be good. Let's release the water. Ah, oh, yes. Let's go, boys. Okay, so this is fine. We got to flip the bridge. Uh, we're probably not going to need water here anymore. Because the water is going to overflow into this setup. So we're going to flip the bridge, connect that back into here. So any bathroom water we get is going to go into this electrolyzer. Going to release the water, go to the bottom. All right, now we got to replace more of the restrooms. All right, so let's do all the outhouses. And then we'll do the sinks afterwards. We have the sink in the front made first for the reason that if one of these guys' sinks is deconstructed, we still got a sink. We're out of dirt. Oh, no. We got to go into this biome. Oh, crap, boys. Okay, we're out of food. I did not even realize we were out of dirt. Okay, that's actually another reason why we need to transition from the outhouses. Oh, no. Uh, Let's see. It's starting to get warm over here. All right, let's mine this out because we can go from the bottom. I think it's going to have to be here. Uh, let's mine this out. We've got to wrangle the baby. And I think what we're going to want to do is move the compost into here. Start composting in the cold area. That way the dirt comes out cold as well. Not really. It's still a little bit on the warm side, but you know, it is what it is. So the generator is losing a little bit of juice. Uh, fertilizer, why not? Need to start pumping some of the H2 out. 
Once we get this, this is going to be a lot better with the amount of hydrogen we have ready. All right, refinement. Let's get two compost, should be fine. There's a lot of dirt right here we should probably grab. That's done, let's go. Pretty good, pretty good. We could keep the sinks replaced later. Get the bathrooms at first before they uh, do more than they need to. Ah, uh, man. Boys, I'm out of dirt. We're going to have to grab it from here as soon as we can. Let's mine this out. There's a good chance I need to just start mining this immediately. Even though the water spills in, the cold water going down chills the tiles out. So it does benefit me to keep mining down a little bit. Cold water buffer right here is pretty great. Uh, 3,000 kilograms right there. Okay, we gotta mine the sounds. Actually, yeah, we gotta do it like this. So that's a 4x4 four four setup. Water spills in. That's fine. Breathing issues, of course. This should be a 7 over here. Can't reach that. Let's get the ladder. Mop up the tile. Now we probably make our way to grab gold too, as a result. Either that or I need to grab suits. That's that's basically the one of the two things that we need to do. Grab the reed fiber. Grab the gold. <laughs> that, that's going to be the two things I think I want to protect ourselves. That way I don't have to worry about uh, zombie spores bopping me in the face. Speed that up. Almost at 69%. Not bad. Gotta move that out. Okay, so those are gonna be like that. We could remove this now. We need the gold pumps. That's fine. Dreco is temp reed fiber. It is. It is. We could we could cheer the babies. We could cheer the babies. But we had some here that's been growing too. That we could just snag up. Can't complain about that. Free reed fiber. I will need a Draco farm too, though. You're right. I probably should make another one of those. Or make my first Draco farm. I'm sorry. Oh, he got out on the wrong side? Oh, the baby is able to sneak through? Oh, that's illegal. Oh, yeah. He's a water critter. He actually doesn't care about the menagerie. <laughs> he could sneak out. Oh, I didn't even know that, dude. What the heck? Are you using the geyser on this playthrough? Yes! We are using geyser, uh, geysers on this playthrough. We're back to the normal stuff. Back to the normal stuff. Not gonna do the insane stuff anymore. 69% <laughs> stress. Let's go. Alright, guys. I think this is gonna be a great spot to wrap things up for the night. So, cycle 68 right before 69. We're getting our spawn ready, but before we can actually uh, finish that, we're going to need to grab some gold. And uh, I got to feed the mamba. I got to show him some love. So guys, we're going to be wrapping things up right now. It's also, uh, you know, kind of late. I need to go get food before the stores close. But let's go, let's go. So let me get the save in.